Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Hotel Review. Today we're checking out the Grand Waialea on the island of Maui. This is a very famous hotel, incredibly popular with people coming in from the lower 48. This is part of Hilton Honors, so you can book this with points. Uh, right now it's 110,000 points a night. When we stayed here, we could stay for 95,000 points a night. If you have the Hilton Aspire Amex card, you can use those weekend night certificates here as well, making it a pretty good use. I've stayed here before in the past and wasn't incredibly impressed with the service. Uh, the resort, being a Waldorf Astoria, has almost a thousand rooms, so it's absolutely massive and service can be hit or miss. Uh, it's also very expensive. Uh, you're kind of a captive audience here at the Grand Wailea. So let's check out a full tour of this resort, starting with the entry area here with their massive waterfall and lush gardens, uh, and that all extends into the open air lobby. There's a lot of history to this resort. This is one of the most massive resorts ever built. In the early 90s, it opened as a Hyatt, I believe, um, and now it's part of Hilton's program. But as you leave your car with the valet, it's valet only parking, um, and that price is over $40 a day. So pretty expensive, and you want a car on Maui to be able to explore the island. So just keep that in mind that your $1,000 a night hotel room uh, does not include parking. Uh, so you're on the hook there. We enter here to the right is the main check-in desk. Uh, there was always a line when I stayed here. Uh, it's a pretty busy hotel, of course. Uh, they do have a club level. Uh, that's not something you can get upgraded to as a Hilton Honors Diamond like I am. Uh, you have to pay extra for that, but it includes uh, a lot of food tastings and beverages throughout the day. So it can be a good deal if the price is right. And over there is Botero. That was recently renovated uh, and just unveiled in July of 2022. Uh, it's got a lot of the Colombian artist Botero's uh, statues that are pretty iconic. Uh, they renovated all of that and uh, it looks pretty nice. So that's pretty cool. So this whole lobby is open air. Uh, you're overlooking the beach and the massive pool complex. Uh, the pool complex is definitely the big draw of this resort. This is why it's so popular with families. Uh, I feel like I talk to people all the time and they grew up coming here. So. We will check all of that out in due time. Just below there is Ikena, and that's where the breakfast buffet is. When I stayed there, it was really, truly just a continental breakfast for diamonds. Now that they've unveiled their credits, I assume that they're just going off of credits now, uh, and you can use that throughout the resort. Uh, but unfortunately, my ties, etc., are well over $20 after tax and tip. So just keep that in mind that your credit from all your loyalty will not go very far here at the Grand Wailea. Now we're gonna do some of our walking through here and check out some of the beautiful gardens uh, at the resort. This side also has the chapel, so you will see some weddings if you're staying here. Um, lots of corporate events happen here as well. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, multi-level marketing companies when we stayed here hosting their big events that they fly out all their top sellers to. Uh, there's a luau that happens a few times a week as well. That's pretty expensive, though it's expensive everywhere on the island. Um, they have a number of different restaurants that I'll point out along the way as well. One thing I do love about the Grand Wailea is all of the Asian art that's spread out throughout the resort. It's really fun to find. Uh, obviously left over from when they first built the hotel uh, and now all the lush greenery has kind of grown in around it. So you have to kind of search out and find a lot of things. So pretty cool here. Uh, I did find this little tea garden that seemed Japanese inspired. Uh, it doesn't look like that the restaurant uh, is operational anymore that used to be here, uh, but they still have this little area open that's pretty cool for quiet contemplation. Now keep in mind, those are rooms behind, um, and then there's a building in front of them that slopes down towards the beach. So you can get stuck with a thousand dollar room that does not have an ocean view, even though all the rooms do face towards the ocean. Uh, so there are definitely some bad rooms here. Um, and if you want that ocean view or ocean front view, I recommend booking it uh, rather than hoping for an upgrade because there are just a lot of people that are coming in and out of this hotel. Um, and it was kind of a fight for an upgrade when I wanted my ocean front view uh, that I thought I was entitled to as a diamond. So uh, just keep that in mind. So you can really get your steps in for the day by not even leaving the resort here. Uh, they have brooks and streams that are flowing you know from the top levels of the hotel all the way down uh, and that kind of uh, echoes the pool area as well uh, this area is super super famous for their pool complex there's a water elevator that you can ride up to the top and then slide pool to pool all the way down uh, to the beach level so that's why the kids love this 
super, super fun. Um, and that's uh, why this place is so popular. There is a spa on property, but that is currently under renovation and should open in 2023, so I can't show you that. There's a fitness center nearby that was very large when we were staying here. I assume that that's gonna get a nice refresh as well. But when you're on vacation, right on the beach, there's plenty to do and get your exercise in without having to go into the gym. Now we have arrived at the chapel. So it's its own dedicated building. It looks like a church. It's super, super pretty. There's a nice lake surrounding it. It's close to the ocean. So we'll make for an incredible ceremony if you're choosing this property for your wedding. There is another part of the property that are basically timeshares. Uh, they're more expensive because they're more of traditional homes uh, or you know one or two bedroom rooms with their own dedicated kitchens. Um, so they have full access to the resort as well. Um, if you are visiting here, this is not a place to get away from at all. This is a pretty busy resort at all times, especially around the pool area. And over to the right is also where you'll see some uh, corporate areas. Uh, I believe that's also where the luau is. So you can check all of that out while you're on property. Over to the right there is of course the beach and we're gonna cut across the grass here and head to the adults only pool. And this is a nice place to get away from the kids. When I stayed here, the kids mostly stayed away just because this pool is relatively boring compared to all the slides and everything over on the other side. Um, though you will probably have a kid or two sneak in every once in a while. But they've added these cabanas that you can rent. Of course, that's an extra charge now. So they definitely get you there, um, but there are pool chairs available later in the day. Uh, you're going to have to fight for them in the morning uh, with everyone if you're wanting to hang by the pool all day. Over to the left is one of the hotel's restaurants, Bistro Molokini, so you can have a nice drink over here, as well as grab some food options there. It's open for lunch and dinner. And now we're gonna make our way down to the main pool complex and work our way upward back towards the hotel lobby. So the first pool you'll come across has a more active feel to it. There's a volleyball net in there. Uh, it's nice and wide. It does connect in with the sort of interconnected pools um, as well as uh, leading to where the water elevator is, though I believe you do have to get out of the pool to get into the water elevator. Um, but over to the left is where you can grab your wristbands as well as uh, your towels for the day. There's uh, you know sunscreens and noodles, etc., that you can buy or rent over there to the left as well. And then straight ahead is actually the scuba diving pool. So you can do scuba le lessons here. There's actually some free classes that are included in the resort fee. Um, and then you can obviously have an upcharge to actually go scuba diving in the ocean or start your training here. So that's pretty cool. And then right up there are the two water slides, uh, the big water slides rather. 
and then the water elevator entrance as well. So now we're gonna walk across here and go check out more of the pool. Intermixed into the pool complex as well is the grotto and the grotto bar. So you can actually be watching sports in the pool, in the private grotto. They have waterfalls going, uh, making it super private and fun. Uh, and uh, I really liked hanging out there when I was staying at the resort. So there's the start of the grotto area to the left and we'll come across the other side and find it on the left on across this bridge too. Um, and we're gonna come to the rope swing, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they do have some active activities that are pretty fun for the kids. You can see all the way up there are the hotel rooms for the resort. So this pool complex does get uh, a 10 out of 10 for me because there is a lot going on here uh, and plenty to do for you know a four to five day trip. So I filmed this towards the end of the day, so a lot of the water wasn't running because they do close the active pool off, but there you can see one of the water slides that connects one level of the pool down to the other. Uh, I believe there's seven all together, um, and so you can take the water elevator all the way up and then slide all the way down um, and just keep repeating that all day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the water elevator does have a slight schedule to it, so you may have to wait or just get out and walk up to the top. Um, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. So there's normally a waterfall flowing right there and that covers up the grotto pool, keeping it kind of private and pretty fun for the whole family. And then the fancy restaurant at the resort is Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Pua'a, which is the Hawaiian state fish. Uh, we dined there and there was really good food. It's pretty expensive, but uh, really nice setting at night. Now we're gonna cross over this fun rope bridge and check out some more of the kind of canyon grotto-y feel uh, as we lead up to the main lobby again. So there's sort of an active canyon with lots of waves going on when the uh, pools and the waterfalls are going. That's super fun. Now we've made it up to the top level pool, which is pretty cool. So you have a nice view looking out towards the ocean there from the top level here. And then you have that slide over to the left that starts your way back down. So now let's go check out some of the shops. There's also a new restaurant. The new restaurant is called Lulu. And so it's a wellness focused market. Um, so it's kind of a good grab and go place, I believe in the mornings. Um, and it's located at the very end of the shops. So this place definitely uh, has a lot going for it, obviously. Great pool complex, great spot on the beach, nice huge beach for people to play in. Uh, the big negatives I feel like is, one, it's very expensive 
even before you get on property. And then once you're on property, you do want to enjoy the resort and all the food and drink is, is pretty pricey. Um, as I mentioned before, I actually looked up again, the parking price and it was $40 when I stayed there and now it's $65 per night. So you're pretty much stuck at the resort unless you want to pay, you know, over a hundred dollars a day just to have the privilege of a rental car before you even add in gas. Um, so that's not something that I'm super thrilled about when I check into a resort. I know that resorts do have a little bit pricier items, but it just feels like it's a little bit of a price gouge once you get on, on property. Uh, now, if you stay on the club level, you can cut some of those food costs, and I think that's a good way to control some of that. Uh, they do have um, a membership as well, so if you are a frequent guest or you'd like to come back here, it's probably a good way to stay here. Um, they'll probably have some you know, resort credits, etc. Uh, a good way to save as well is with your $250 credit from the Amex Aspire card. So you can get $250 of your spending once you're on property. Hopefully you're booking with points as well, saving there. So you can take a big hit out of uh, the budget here if your family wants to come visit. So now we're walking towards the main shops. Um, they have about, a, you know, I would say a half dozen to a dozen shops. Lots of different items here, so plenty of things to do. I will say you can leave this resort and go check out some of the other resorts on the beach. There's a Four Seasons, there's an Andaz, there's um, a number of different properties around that may have a little bit cheaper food and better uh, food and drink options. Uh, there's also the shopping complex that has Tommy Bahama's restaurant and we found that happy hour is delicious and very reasonably priced. Um, there's Monkey Pod up the hill. Uh, it's a pretty long walk, but you know you could walk if you didn't have a car. Um, so there's a lot of different options that are not necessarily connected to a resort that you can save a little bit on food costs. And I think that the quality of the food is very, very good. Um, so just something to keep in mind to maybe help control costs here. Anyway, we'll continue our walk here down the shops and finish up the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you like these types of resort tours, please subscribe and smash that like button.